All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to talk about what do you want from your foldable? So here we have the Google Pixel Fold. This phone has caused a lot of discussion, controversy, uh, a lot of opinions, a lot of so-called facts. Um, but really, I wanted to have a discussion with you guys and figure out what it is that we're really looking for out of a, out of a foldable device. What do you need your foldable to do? And let's just talk about some things. So a lot of things are subjective. So when you guys ask questions to reviewers, large channels, smaller channels, a lot of uh, what we can say is really subjective. It's going to be based on you know, our past experiences, our current experiences, uh, how many devices we have or had, and you know, our opinions are going to vary. So when you try to not just attack, but when you really pose a lot of questions and you don't get the answers you're looking for, you know, everybody's going to be different. So let's just always keep that in mind, especially the question about the price. Is it worth it? Well, that's subjective, right? So 1800 bucks is a lot to some and not so much for others. People can write it off. For the business um you know and everybody just spends their money differently right i know people that'll drop two three hundred dollars on a meal and not think twice about it um for myself i don't like to spend that kind of money on food i'd rather spend it on something like a device where i can see where my money went and if i ever get in a pinch or a pickle <laughs> i can sell it and get the majority of my money back but let's go into foldables. What is it that you wanted to do? So with the Pixel Fold, I went into this wanting a tablet that kind of turns into a phone. And what I mean by that is I already have a primary device. So I have several devices that I use. So I don't need this to be my primary device. This is definitely just something to play around with and experience and have fun with. So I'm coming to this device from a different perspective. Um, and when I say I wanted it to be a tablet first, I want this inside experience to be great, right? So to me, if you're trying to replace a device, you really have to look at the strengths and weaknesses of the device you're trying to replace. So I'm always gonna come from a place of owning several different tablets, like uh, my all time favorite, which other than the iPad would be the Tab S6. I just thought that was a great thin form factor that had pen support, um, vivid display, stuff like that, AMOLED display. So I want a foldable that has great speakers, a bright, vivid screen with a high refresh rate, customizable, I want an all day battery. I don't need it to go two days, but I mean, a tablet can go a couple of days. So at least an all day battery. Good for gaming out of the Play Store. So I don't expect this thing to, you know, play AAA titles or whatnot, but it should at least be able to handle any game out of the Play Store. If I want something more intensive, obviously I have my Steam Deck here, but I'm not a heavy gamer, but at least be able to play the Play Store games. Um, another thing that's important to me is pen support, right? So if this is replacing a tablet like the Tab S6 or S7, S8, whatever you may own, an iPad, iPad Pro, something that has pen support, um, it's hard to replace that if you don't have pen support. So I want my foldable to have that ability. Um, Future-proofing is big for me. So when I say future-proof, I need the specs to be something that's going to last a couple years. So I know uh, Google promised a lot of updates for the next several years for this device. <sighs> are the updates going to be enough, right? So apps and things are always going to get updated. And is this thing going to perform well in a couple of years? Well, it's already using an outdated processor, which we talked about in a different video so to me, this one is not really future-proofed, right? It may be good for another two, three years, 
but we don't really know. And what's going to be the cycle? You know, how often is Google going to release these foldable devices? Is it going to be every year, every two years? This is their first attempt, which is a great attempt, um, but we really don't know. And what's going to be the trade-in value, right? That's something else that's really important to me when I purchase something. Am I going to be able to trade this thing in and get at least half my money back, right? Is, are they going to release a Pixel Fold 2 next year and I can trade this in? They give me a thousand bucks and I get the Pixel Fold 2. So those are just some things to really think about. Um, I know you guys have things that are more important to you. Maybe the camera, right? So maybe this is going to be your primary device and you need something with a really good camera. Well, this has that. You know, Pixel is great for their software. So um, you know you're going to have a good camera. The haptics, like I mentioned before, are really great on this phone. So you're going to get a great typing experience. Um, the apps perform pretty well. They're just going to get better with time and Maybe you want this thing to be a phone first and then the tablet secondary, right? So then this outer display is going to be super important to you because this is where you're going to spend the majority of your time. And then, you know, when you have two hands available, you open it up and get a better experience, right? So just for example, you open it up, you want to enjoy some ESPN. Guess what? Look, you got um, tiles on the left and right to give you more content you know, at your fingertips instead of, you know, just experiencing it on the primary screen here. So it really depends on what your needs and wants are. And I don't want you guys to lose sight of that. Let's not get caught up in bashing somebody's opinion and things on this phone. Um, and let's just you know, embrace technology for what it's meant for. It's meant to solve some problems, meant to uh, be fun and innovative. And that's what this device has really brought. Uh, it does have some issues just like anything that comes out. And us early adopters, we have to experience that and we try to relay that back to you guys so you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. Yes, this phone does get warm when you're gaming. Um, it is capable of playing games. I put out a glitch video because that was my experience at the time. Uh, fast forward, I was able to delete a couple of apps, including that game. I deleted the, the Play Games uh, app, reinstalled it, reset the phone, and then, you know, it came back. It started working again. So you're going to have some growing pains with these newer devices. It is going to happen firmware updates and things are going to get pushed out. The experience should get better. Hopefully it doesn't take long like some of my Surface Duo friends. That we, we waited a couple years uh, in several updates for that experience to get better. Uh, so hopefully Google doesn't suffer those same pain points. But hit me up in the comments. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking about this device. You know, have you been swayed one way or the other, whether or not you want to pick this device up? What is it that you absolutely need your foldable device to do? I know some people say they don't even like foldables. Okay, but why? You know, what? what is the big deal where you just hate a foldable? Um, have you purchased one? Have you had any experience with one? Or are you just going against the grain, right? What you're entitled to do, we're all entitled to have our opinions and things, but uh, at the end of the day, let's embrace the technology and companies pushing other companies to be great. So that's all I got to say in this video. Hit me up. And until the next one, peace.